Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your mid-October to November reading of this current year. Boom! Check it out. The Dark Mirror Oracle deck. Great. We're using that to figure out your vibration and theme in this reading. Pisces and cross watchers alike. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. Just boop your nose and away it goes. After all, don't believe too hard into something or else it'll come true. It's never good, right? Anyway, if you want a personal reading after this video, my information is in the description box below. Just go down past my list of musical choices for my channel for background music and it'll be right there. Newcomers, first readings on the house of course, everything else comes with the price. And I do accept tips and donations, thank you very kindly in advance. Alright Pisces, your card, ew, I won't cry for you, ew, I like that Pisces, number 22, let's see what it says. Oh, I was almost right there, too. It just opened right up to it, almost. Just one page back. I won't cry over you. Uh, moon phase, third quarter, stage acceptance. It's like the five stages of death or grief. There's... What is it? It's, um... Denial, bargaining, anger... Sadness or grief, and then acceptance. Acceptance is the last stage. Sometimes when it's over, closure must be created, not just found. The visual seed with black with her back to the light of the moon, a beautiful woman with deep blue eyes sheds dry tears of blood. She holds in her, her hand a drop a drop shaped vial. Oh, like a literal teardrop, okay. Full of blood as well. And she gestures towards, and she gestures forward as if offering it. Hold on, let me read that again. With her back to the light of the moon, the beautiful woman with deep blue eyes sheds dry tears of blood. She holds in her hand a drop-shaped vial full of blood as well, and she gestures forward as if offering it. Like, this book has weird ways of writing stuff, but whatever. It's a pretty picture, though. Let's see. Sentence. I gave you my last gift. I shed my last tear for you. It's time not to let you free, but to let myself free. Going dark, breaking up, can only be done by two persons. One will do it earlier, maybe, but sooner or later the other will follow. One foot can afford to do it with words and actions. The other probably will only be able to do inside her own heart. It's painful, it's definite, it's hard, it's sometimes necessary. Breaking up is not just letting go of a person, you are letting go of a part of yourself, of hope and dreams and trust. You let go of feelings and memories. You let go of the emptiness you left. Ah, if I could talk today. Thank you. It, you let go of the emptiness you felt and the connection you relied on to. Anger will help at the beginning, but the last part of the road can't be done ju by just anger. Closure comes when you dry up your tears. It is a gorgeous moment when you allow yourself to, frankly, don't give a damn about it. Shouldn't it be... It's a gorgeous... Like, if, okay, when... I'm sorry, but it's like when you, like, read this, it, just imagine the middle part gone, and it's like, it's a gorgeous moment when you allow yourself to don't give a damn about it. That doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't it be, like, not give a damn about it? Or am I just... I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm being particular. I'm sorry. I'm a Capricorn. It happens. My bad. Um, all that... Pa all that was past is not a credit or a debt. It is just suddenly no more... Than a gift you can raise your chin after all tomorrow is another day okay so that's your vibration for this reading pisces sorry about the grammy the grammar shit but it's like why this book is written so weird you know like i don't know 
I don't think they, they were thinking that. Uh, maybe, maybe they just put a lot of work into this more than what I think. I should give them credit, but still, it's a damn book. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, let's go into your reading so I can stop bitching. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Ugh. Let's see. We got for you the Ten of Wands Reverse. Sorry about that. My bad, dude. Um, there's a burden that needs to be released, and it's not happening. It's just hanging in there. Uh, someone can manifest something with it, or someone is manifesting it with the magician, or something. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like what this was saying. It's like someone's manifesting their own burden, like created it on their own. It's below the surface, so it's rising above, permeating, kind of like in this, um type away. It's like um, when water boils, it becomes steam and then becomes part of the air or some shit. It's like evaporation or whatever it's called. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not that smart. So we're going with that, right? But it's kind of like that. It's like this is the water and now it's steam. It's a completely different form. And it's like this water is getting boiled. This magician is boiling, creating something. And as a result, the residue left over is this ten of wands kind of scenario. Right? We got the Seven of Wands reverse right here. Uh. Someone feels like they don't know how to get out of a shitty situation. But the root of that is that they're at... A, a, they're about to get out of the situation. They're at a crossroads with the Hangman. That's actually part... That is kind of like your card, um, Pisces, the Hangman, as well as... Um, I think Judgment and the High Priestess, I think those are yours as well. Just because of the mysterious element. You know, you got time behind you. Uh, you're at a position where you'll be getting off that pole soon, but you kind of just feel like you're not there yet. But you're already on the right road. It just doesn't look like you know where you're going just yet. And here, once again, could be you, Pisces. I even said this bitch, the High Priestess Reverse. You ain't telling nobody nothing about nothing. Not anything. But nothing. And nobody needs to ask shit either. Because you ain't telling them that you're lost in the woods trying to figure out where you went to. Yeah, you're not communicating that shit at all. Not with the star. You're not reaching out. You're not looking for whatever. You know. And then we have the Ten of Cups Reverse. Okay, Pisces. How interesting. You are not crying over nobody. Hmm. Her face is like so serious too for someone who ain't gonna cry over a motherfucker. I'm just saying. Alrighty. So this Ten of Wands... Someone wants to look over these burdens, but it's like, it's already pretty well established that there's no security. There's nothing holding them back. There's nothing there. I mean, there's four pillars, yeah, but who cares? It, it, they've always been there. They're just buildings. One of them might have been a bank. The other one might have been a hotel with McDonald's in the lobby. You know, doesn't matter. They don't, they aren't, they're there. They aren't there now. It's Mad Max world. Everything is a desert. Well, almost everything, except for that one area where those kids were, and the Thunderdome arenas, and the few other places, actually, surprisingly, not all the places were a desert. Everyone lost their shit really quick, you know. Um, speaking of losing your shit, <laughs> um, you might be losing your shit because you know that there is no reason to be carrying this burden anymore. Like a grudge or some shit? You know, I won't cry over you, but this bitch looks pretty. I mean, to me, her face just speaks of, like, there's someone who's a little bit indignant. Or just trying to, um, stand strong as they offer a present, but it's like... What's the point of offering a gift if you're gonna look like that, you know? Like, you got blood on your face, you big disgrace. 
Showing your kent all over the place, you know. It's kind of like that song. It's like you're trying to rock somebody, but it's like either you or somebody else, a Pisces and Cross Watcher. Um, I don't know, but it's like you need you don't need to come that hard and that dramatic, you know. Like it's a cool role, yes, but there's no reason to play that role, you know. It's it could be a bit much. We got 22 on that too, so for anyone who wants to pay attention to that. Mmm, yeah, it's like a dream. Okay, hold the fucking phone. Hold up, hold up. Okay, there's a burden here. Um. It's kind of like somebody's laying bare their insecurities. But despite that, they despite that they feel like they're a little bit nuts for not cutting out this dream that they're dreaming of with the Nine of Cups, right? There's still a slight pining in all this, but there's still that grudge, you know? The Magician. This is what they are using to manifest the situation, right? Right? No idea what the fuck he's doing. He's lost in the sauce. The Ace of Swords, sunny side reverse, right? This person has no clue or clarity, Pisces and Cross Watcher. Um, they think someone might come back. Who has yet to show up on their fucking porch because no one's there. So I don't know who they think is coming back, you know. And they are kind of getting like in their feelings about it. They're turning into a regular Becky. Um probably gonna go to the park this weekend now and just look for a random group of families to call the cops on to because they're having a barbecue or worse they're playing with the volleyball court oh my god could you imagine like think of the children I feel like this person's a little bit indignant of Pisces too like they're they're so serious about it too like look at their face like you're literally presenting a teardrop full of blood I feel like she painted those tears on I feel like if you cried to the point where you're bleeding tears like you need to chill just a little bit that's that's way too much <laughs> that is way too traumatic you know oh my god like nobody needs to be that way like it does it need to be that serious all the time? Like, I won't cry for you. Nobody asked you to. You know, nobody, like, is there, like, you don't have to at all. I don't know who this is, but I just want to be like, you don't have to cry for anybody. It does not need to be this serious, you know? I, I feel like you just need a hug or something. I don't know. Let's see. Up top with this. <laughs> yeah, you just want to let it all go. Whoever you are, I don't, I don't think I don't think this is you, Pisces. I think this is possibly more of the person you and the cross watcher are most likely dealing with, depending on perspective, of course. But I feel like this person is just um, you're kind of lost in the sauce. Hell, I don't even think this is you. But if it's you, I feel like you have a right to feel this way because this person is confused about who they think they are. They think that you're supposed to come back, and you're here like no. Uh, no, no, no. You've lost your damn mind. No. Hell no. You know? Ugh. They're at, like, and once again, the hangman. Someone's gotta come by and give them that nurture and feeling. Now, down below, Pisces and Crosswatcher. Eh. Mm. What's... It's like someone wants to come in and cut you, Pisces, and cross watcher before you can get this beginning to raise this lizard like a good old-fashioned family. Someone almost wants to, um, come ruin that for you. Uh, since you haven't come by and shit, you know, like, if you're the Queen of Cups, you aren't worried about coming by. You want nothing to do with this person. If they are the Queen of Cups right there, it's because they're losing their patience. They're bored. They just want to go out and start some shit. And I feel like they want to come start some shit with you right when you're about to start something new. Or right when you're about to get somewhere, right? This might person might come with words. They might try to communicate something to start an argument um, in order to trip yourself up however you want to look at it, right? 
so this person's a little bit of a bitch. Um, but they won't cry for you, Pisces. I'm just saying, they won't cry for you, but they'll pre present some dramatic ass act antics to get your attention. Uh, but they won't cry for you, right? All right, thoughts and feelings. This person feels lost in the sauce, right? They want to take a leap of faith. They want to get somewhere, you know? Like, just like we all do. They want to give their love to something, you know? They want to ride up and be like, hey, my baby, I got this for you. There's your pretty, and I like you too. Um, no. <laughs> No, I mean, it could be a Capricorn, but no, 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 not with this, no, and you're looking at each other with shame, no, no. No, what, what the fuck is this, what is this again? Since I have the memory of a goldfish. Um, feeling like there's no escape, or you're not on, like, you are on the road to escaping this action or feeling, I feel like. But... You don't see it just yet. And it's almost like you have to take a leave of faith and make an offer of love to a Capricorn or to a toxic relationship of sorts. Try to make friends with it almost. And that's like, and I, but I'm, nah, just don't, I would, I would not even bother. It's like you don't see any way around it. Almost Pisces and Crosswatcher alike. It's like there's no avoiding it, which I don't know yet, but we'll clarify here in a few. We got the Empress reverse on this hangman. The Empress has her back turned, right? This is the root of the thoughts and feelings. There's the crossroads. She has her back turned. She ain't paying attention to diddly shit. She's just doing whatever, you know. Uh, she could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Here's a little Miss Fanny Mae. I love her. And her little, like, cute dress. Oh my god, she's so fucking cute. I love Fanny Mae. She's like... My most favorite version of the Queen of Pentacles, man. She's just so cute. I mean, you know, just just look at how happy she is. She's in a rose-printed dress. She has antlers on her head. Like, oh, she's too adorable. <coughs> ah, I love her. She has a bird. Mmm, I want a bird. But not in my house. <laughs> like, her house is outside, so it don't matter. But, like, you know. Still, I want I want to be fanny. Anyway, last card. Ooh. What is this? Okay, so now their magician is here. Is this magician not powerful against, like, I mean, like, this, this Queen of Pentacles could be this devil card up here, too. So you might just be dealing, possibly, with someone with Capricorn in their charts, or something, a lot of influence with Saturn. Maybe there's something to do with Saturn, but it's like, when it comes to this, like, Queen of Pentacles, it's like this magician can't really do much of anything with her. It's like his magic doesn't work. It's like, it's not operating the way he thinks it should, or the way it should. So, I'm not sure. It's like, this person has, um... I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, let's see what comes up after. The thoughts and feelings. Someone's coming off a bad trip. Like, they, they just happened to find a snake when they lost their shit. Um, they picked up a dog, though, so that's cool, and the dog doesn't have a color, so now they're gonna own a dog, and that's like, oh, the fuck yeah, like, it, but the dog's snapping at the snake, and it's like, it's time to put the snake down, you know, someone probably got caught in their sneaky ways, um, um, right before they took off in their car, because they were lost in their GPS, or they were texting, or something like that, um, they can cut, th somebody's gonna cut some shit down, but be <laughs> gentle about it, um, and then that'll change, I feel like, if someone's walking away, and then they're just gonna shoot something. Um, maybe shoot an offer to make some changes happen. But unfortunately, someone is not accepted into heaven, and then is treated like they are a fucking gnome. Possibly by this earth sign, possibly by somebody else, possibly by you, Pisces. You just decide what your story is. I have no idea. I'm just reading the story. But someone starts treating the gnome like less than the gnome. And of course, the gnome don't like that. 
Because now the gnome's noticing that there were bugs in the fucking water. And now the gnome has to dump the water out that he was going to use to give to his friends and family a little bit. And I don't think the gnome liked that too well. It's like someone's trying to, uh, kind of realizing what the fuck happened here. <laughs> this person might have treated you like less than Pisces. And they're just now coming out of their dumbass ways. Yeah, and, and like they're realizing there there should have been some things that uh, they picked up instead of sat and wasted. It's like if they were harvesting for another person, it's like they didn't even know. They just took what they wanted and then got paid and left for the day. Hmm. What's next? And the uh, root of thoughts and feelings, right? Yeah, it could be you, Pisces. You could be just looking at all this shit, just being like, what the fuck is this? Fish. You could be, like, the Queen of Pentacles, the one who's, like, is so settled in your ways that, like, nothing really bothers you. So it's kind of like, ah. Uh, and then you get this fish just like, this has been in my cup this entire time. That's kind of gross. Ew. You know, like, the magician over here was, like, doing something with the cup to begin with. Then you get the cup and you see the fish and you're just like, what the fuck is this fish doing in my cup? The hell? So you just kind of pour your cup out, and then you go over and do your thing with the high, with the Empress over here. The Empress once again. Mmm. Pisces, the Empress was over here too. Her back was turned. And then we have like this Queen of Pentacle here, who's probably the same person. He's kind of like so established in her own ways that like this magician really can't touch her or the way she's set up in some way like the magician can't touch her and that's just like it it's almost like someone manipulated your cop to have a fish in it this magician over here and now the empress is upright and she's got her arm up and she's just like, i have a series of baby swans and they're just like the best thing ever and you know like she's all proud of her swans her family of swans. Like, look at them. They're just cute little ugly ducklings everywhere. You know? Hmm. There might be an ending coming up, too, Pisces. Anyway, moving on. But I feel like, you know, there's something about, like, this empress of, that has something to do with this fish. You know, I like to say that the gnome like to eat fish sometimes. Uh, but treating them like shit is definitely not something that's going to help them eat fish. So this High Priestess Reverse, you might be, you, Pisces, might be keeping secrets, might be ignoring shit because it's like, fuck that, you know. Uh, you might be feeling a little bound and trapped in a situation that you really don't get or understand. Um, you're not sure where to move. It feels like if you go this way, you're going to remain stuck. But if you go this way, there is a big phoenix bird. And you don't know if it likes people or not. But that's the only direction you can go, so it's kind of like a rock in a hard place. You don't know if it's friendly or whatnot, and you don't want to feel trapped anymore. So it's kind of like you're very much stuck with them, right? Where all you want to do is just run away from this entire scene, right? Now, we got a Aquarius's card. The star, like a communication or reaching out here someone's stuck in kind of a loop with that shit you know it's like on repeat it's like oh there's no communication and stuff and blah 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 right um the pisces like you might be keeping that quiet to yourself you might be keeping a lot of things quiet to yourself you know there might even be a potential of another water sign like keeping you still so you are staying in this um, situation, but I feel like this is somebody you don't communicate with either. Like you're stuck in a cycle and they're too selfish to say anything in order to move forward and get over the shit, right? Let's see. Ten of Cups Reverse. Oh. Justice Reverse. Justice was not blind when it came to this lack of happiness or this breaking up of a ish family or whatever which is what this talked about uh, someone walked as soon as their cups were empty 
And the person who was doing the wrong deeds did not get the last laugh on the person. He managed to get away before they could catch up with the idea of what they were doing. Okay. I see. What's coming up for the top? There might be some... Ch okay, so, like, you might have to, like, actually get aggressive and, and go first in order to have some change happen. In order to get out of this strange setting. But you gotta remember to be, um... On your best behavior, too. Because I feel like this person is somebody who, um... I feel like they are, like, they don't think too well. Or they just don't think in the way that you believe, like... You know? Or it's a, their method of thinking is just so confusing. It could be that, too. Uh, next two cards for this one, we have a... Da, 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 five of Cups reverse, and then the Four of Wands reverse. Like, somebody let somebody drown. Hmm. But the person really didn't drown. Hmm. Yeah, like somebody left somebody to drown. They didn't drown, but they made sure that um this door will probably never open because everybody fucking moved. Like everyone went away. Everybody left the scenario, alright? Everybody is gone from it. Down below, we have the Devil Reverse and Death Reverse. Someone was trying to tempt somebody not to end something, and that temptation did not work. In fact, it, it was probably looked at like, uh, no. No, 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 no. Someone's not falling for whatever it is someone's trying to bring upon the Earth. Right? Right. Okay, Pisces. That's the end of your reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it, but it's really all up to you. So whatever makes you happy, of course. I am going to go ahead and start uploading all of these. I will see you guys later, and I hope I see some of you newcomers later too. Newcomers, if I could talk today. Anyway, you guys take it easy, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.